The pass rate for the transportation PE exam is one of the highest ones that you can get, second only to water resources. But this will only apply to you if you do the work. Most of the questions that are on the transportation exam rely very heavy on the codes and standards for pretty much all the questions that you're gonna be asked. Maybe not all the questions, but a ton of questions. You're gonna have to go find this stuff in the codes and standards and use that to help solve the problem. Now, what this means is that you're gonna need a lot, and I mean a lot of sample problems and exams to get as many reps in as possible as you can on this thing. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you 16 resources that are going to help you pass your transportation PE exam. And with these resources, this is what it's going to give you. Three ways to brush up on topics that you may need help with. 540 practice problems that will make the official exam questions look easy. And 10 practice exams that are going to give you exposure and practice for the real exam experience. What is up everybody? I am Isaac Okason with Civil Engineering Academy. If you're gearing up to take the transportation PE exam stick with me to the very end because these resources will definitely help you pass this thing i'm gonna see you in a minute so stick with me hey. all right let's go ahead and start with the resources that you can brush up on transportation topics Number one on this list is our PE Civil Transportation Review Manual given by PPI. This is basically the CIRM for transportation, the old civil engineering reference manual, but built for transportation. Now, after the specs changed in April of 2024, which I have explained in a previous video, the breadth topics actually that were covered in the CIRM got moved all around and some were actually removed completely. So now PPI is launching review manuals for each of the five different civil PE exams. And this particular one is for transportation. It covers every single topic that you have on your specifications. So you're going to get exactly what you need for the transportation depth exam. It also references our PE handbook. So that's nice. It comes with example problems. It also comes with solutions as well as now new colored pages as well as nice illustrations, which the old civil engineering reference manual didn't have if you remember, right? And yes, this thing is brand new. And so there is no general opinion about it yet, but it is produced by PPI. So I'm sure this is still a really good resource, just like the old civil engineering reference manual was. All right, next up, we have the PE Civil Exam Review Guide for Transportation. This is produced by the School of PE. This one literally covers everything transportation engineering for the PE exam. From traffic engineering to vertical and horizontal curves to pavement design all the way to drainage. This thing used to be a monster of a book, really thick, but now they've broken it up into two different volumes. But still with this one, you can review pretty much every topic that you need to for transportation. I actually reviewed a previous edition of this book in another video. So if you want to check that out, I'm going to leave a link of that in the description below so you can decide if you want to grab that. But overall, School of PE with PPI, you know, are the big companies here and they've been publishing also some really great prep material for some time now. So this one is definitely a good one for sure. So go check it out. And now the last resource that I have for you is actually a free one. And that is number three. That is Dr. Daniel Finlay's YouTube channel. Daniel is actually a professor at North Carolina State University. And his YouTube channel is a gold mine for transportation engineers, so you have to check that out, including an entire playlist for the PE exam. In his playlist, he actually dives into each section of the PE handbook for transportation, explaining equations that are in there and the theory that's behind them. Each video comes with some sweet example problems at the end to illustrate how to use the equations that he's going through when solving the problems. That's really good stuff by a transportation engineer himself who also teaches FE and PE prep courses at the university and it's totally free right here on YouTube. So go check out this one and broke mark the playlist right on your browser. All right, now let's dive into the 540 practice problems that I promised you. Number one on this list is the Six Minute Solutions Transportation Depth Problem Set by PPI. This one comes with 93 multiple choice transportation questions, pretty similar to those on the PE exam. In fact, the most common complaint that I hear about this book are that the questions themselves are actually a lot harder than the real exam. I actually think that's probably a good thing because it's going to better help prepare you for the real exam, maybe even if it's a portion of the problem 
problem is going to help you. But just realize that if you can nail the harder questions during your exam prep, then when you actually take the real exam, hopefully it'll be much better and easier way to go and a little bit of a breeze for you to actually go through the real exam on exam day because things will be easier for you. And if you get stuck for any reason, the problems do come with step-by-step -step solutions. So they're going to show you how to solve this the most effective way that you can and uh, hopefully save you some time. All right, so that's 93 problems already. Let's keep this going. To get our number of problems all the way up to 253, resource number two on our list is called The Essential Guide to Passing the Transportation Civil PE Exam by Jacob Petro. Now this book is nice because it teaches you the theory behind the topics in the specs by using 160 questions, not written explanations. The questions are designed to be much more difficult, longer, and much more comprehensive. That way you can apply many topics and refer to different codes more than once for each question question. Now this forces you to remember what you've already studied and then apply it in real time, which I think is the most effective study strategy. Now I covered this in a previous video that we recorded, which I'll leave in the description below as well. But just for this different approach to studying, this is a really good resource. The questions also refer to almost all of the sections in the handbook and the codes, forcing you to actually get familiar with them as well. So not only will you learn the theory behind the application, but it's also going to get you more than ready for these look in the code type questions, which is almost the entire transportation exam. Alrighty, number three is our civil PE transportation problems, our YouTube playlist for them. This playlist has over 67 problems that we have right here on YouTube, totally free. Now, some of these problems were created some time ago, so they refer to using the civil engineering reference manual back when that liable for the PE exam um, or maybe even older versions of the handbook. But just use the current version of the handbook and the codes when solving the problems and you'll still get awesome practice. That playlist has over 250,000 views and I'm pretty sure it's going to help you as well. We work really hard to try to make these problems resemble the problems you'll see on the exam and we love it. Other people love them too. So go check that out. That adds 67 more problems to your exam prep, getting our total to 320 so far. All right, next up on our list is our PE Civil Transportation Workbook by School of PE. Now this is a brand new publication by the folks at School of PE. This thing has 80 questions in it, all of them matching the 2024 specs that were just released back in April, and each one with detailed solutions created by their own instructors who work in the field. Now I haven't personally used this book because this thing, again, is brand new, but I think it came out just last summer. But because it's produced by the School of PE and they've been publishing high quality materials material for quite some time, this one is probably pretty good too. It will definitely help you hone in on your problem solving skills, identifying any topics that you need to brush up on, as well as working on your time management, which is also a huge role in your study prep. So there you have it. That's 80 more questions for you, raising our total of questions to more than 400 problems. Now, first of the last two resources that I have for you is 100 bonus transportation theory questions. Theory questions make up a huge part of the civil PE exam, no matter which one that you take. But most civil engineers underestimate how many of those questions they're going to get on the PE exam. And as a result, you end up probably not preparing very well for this question type if you prepare at all. So we here at CEA decided to create a resource to give you exposure to theory questions and get you practicing them just as you would practice problems that are about doing math or anything else, getting you exposure to how theory problems could be thrown at you. Now that resource is the 100 bonus transportation theory questions. You get 100 questions with the same look and feel as the real exam, plus some in-depth explanations to the theory behind these questions in case you missed anything. So that's 100 more problems for you, bringing our total now to 500. So check that one out. Honestly, you need to get that one. And please promise me that you're not going to take those theory questions lightly. They may end up killing your chances of passing. You definitely need to brush up on those. Now, finally, to wrap up my recommendations for practice problems, I have an oldie buddy goodie. It's called the Civil Engineering PE Practice Exams Breadth and Depth by Dr. Goswami. Now, this thing is has 280 questions in it. It's broken down into seven different exams, each one with 40 questions. Now, two of the exams in here are actually breadth exams, while the other five are depth exams for each one of the PE exam disciplines. But because 
there is no breath exam anymore. You really only need to do the transportation problems in those breath exams. So here's what you can do. You're gonna do the transportation problems only in those breath exams and then go find your particular depth exam and do all 40 questions related to your transportation exam. Now I know that doesn't perfectly match the current version of the exam itself, but practice is practice. The more the better and I still think it's a great resource. What I love about this book is it still gives gives you challenging problems that are pretty realistic to the real exam that you're going to see on exam day. And for the price, it's actually a still, so definitely give it some serious thought. And with that last one, we have reached the total number of problems that I promised you. That's 540 problems. So go grab those resources or bookmark them if they're free online and you're going to have enough sample problems, way more than enough to get ready when it's time to actually walk into that exam room. All right, the last thing that I promised you was 10 practice exams to help you simulate the real deal. So let's dive into those. Number one on this list is the official NCEES PE exam for civil transportation. This one is definitely a go-to to get. This practice exam comes straight from the horse's mouth. And because of that, this exam is a must. This thing has already been updated to match the current specifications. So it comes with 80 questions that mirror the official exam questions with the same difficulty, the same length, the same progression as you'll experience on exam day. In other words, this thing is the most lifelike exam that you can probably get out there. So please go do it. It comes straight from the author of the exam. And it also doesn't hurt to try to find even older exams that they produce because it's just more practice under your belt. I'm going to be leaving the link in the description below for the most updated exam. I'll also leave a link down there for any old exams that we find as well. All right, so that's actually already two practice exams that you can go get. Let's go ahead and talk about the next one. Next up, we have number two on our list. That is the transportation depth practice exams for the civil PE exam. This is another publication by PPI with two practice exams created for the old de uh, transportation depth exam. Each one comes with 40 questions with step-by-step -step solutions plus explanations and shortcuts to save time and common mistakes that you can avoid. Yes, it was created for the old exam spec, but you get two sets of 40 questions that are strictly focused on transportation topics and that's pretty awesome. You should definitely give each one a run through with a four hour time limit on each one so you can simulate the real exam with the handbook at your disposal and the codes and standards as if you were taking the real deal. That's very important to do. All right, number three on our list is the ultimate transportation practice exam. This is another resource that we here at CEA have produced for you. This is an updated version of our old transportation depth exam that we had in the past, but now we've completely aligned it with the new specs specifications and it is all good. It comes with 80 transportation questions based on the specifications, each one with step-by-step -step solutions um, right from the handbook that we're listing and codes that you should be turning to so you can follow along and get used to using those references as you solve the problem. With the new specifications, the exam now tests you even more on how well you know transportation engineering stuff. We created this practice exam with this in mind to challenge you just as much as the real exam does, if not more. So go put your transportation knowledge to the test and let us know how it goes for you. All right, let's get our total of practice exams up to six with our number four on our list, which is the Civil PE Practice Exam Transportation Depth by Path to PE Services. This one gives you another set of 40 transportation depth questions with one big catch. This one was created when the exam first went CBT in 2022, so the solutions refer to actually the older editions of the handbook. In fact, it references version 1.2. So is that bad? It is absolutely not bad. Bad, but just use the current version of the handbook and the additions and the codes laid out in the current specs. That's it. Now, this exam has definitely some awesome reviews online saying that it's really close to what you're going to see on the official exam. Also, many are saying that the only way to really solve these questions can be solved by diving into the codes, which is exactly what the official exam is like uh, that you're going to be doing most of the time. So it's a great exam. Just keep in mind that the solutions are using an older version of the handbook. You're just going to have to do a little bit of extra work to go check your answers and the latest edition of the handbook and that's it. All right next up is number five on our list that's the transportation depth PE civil engineering exam 
by Rashid Islam. This one is also rated really high online. Everybody's sharing the news that they passed, mentioning this one as a resource to use, so you should probably check this one out too. It comes with actually two transportation depth exams. Each one has 40 questions in it. However, it still has the same catch as the other exam I just mentioned before, that the solutions refer to an older edition of the handbook. And again, you're just going to want to do what you did before. As you're taking these exams, make sure you're using current editions of the handbook with current editions of the codes and specifications so you can go digging into those answers and making sure you got the right books to use. All of that is a little bit of extra work for sure, but by doing this, you're going to get more familiar with the current version of the handbook as well as your codes and standards you're going to be using on the exam. So in fact, it's actually a win-win for you. All right, now to wrap this up, I actually have the last two resources for you, starting with number six, which is called the practice exam for the civil P exam, breath plus transportation depth by Dr. Gus Swami again. These titles are definitely a mouthful, but we're going to get through it. Now, Dr. Kuswami has created some awesome prep material here for the PE, no matter how much the exam changes over time. After all, the engineering concepts really don't change. So yeah, this is a resource that was created for an older PE exam. It comes with a breadth exam and transportation depth exam, each with 40 questions in it. So again, you're going to solve any transportation questions you find in the breadth exam as standalone practice, but then take the transportation depth practice exam simulating the real deal. And you know what I mean. Take it timed for four hours using only a handbook and codes per the new specs to make sure it's a lifelike experience. So with this one, our total of practice exams goes up to nine. I still owe you one more, and here it is. Number seven on our list is the Ultimate PE CBT Exam Simulator. This is a resource that we created here at Civil Engineering Academy because we noticed that most practice exams out there do not give you any idea of what it's like to take a computer-based exam. So we created a full-blown CBT exam simulator for the PE. It's just like taking the official CBT exam inside the real exam room. You'll have your questions on the right hand of the screen. You'll have your handbook and codes on the left hand of the screen. You'll have both multiple choice and some AIT type problems sprinkled in. You'll be able to use the search function to look things up in the handbook as well as the codes. You can take a break. You can flag questions. You can skip questions and come back to them. Literally everything else that you'll be able to do on the real exam is found here. It's actually one of the things that we offer as part of our PE review course that our students love the most. And here's some good news. If you actually want to get your hands on this simulator, we actually offer this as a separate resource as well because we really want to help you pass this exam. You can actually go sign up for the PE CBT exam simulator. We'll approve your exam on the back end and you're actually going to get a link via email. Once that's done, you just go ahead and click the link that we email you and you're all set to take the exam whenever you want to. The nice thing about it is we can reset the exam if you want to take it again and you you'll be able to see all your results at the end of it, including the ability to pause the exam in the middle of it because we know you have a life. All right, everybody, there you have it. Just as I promised from the beginning, three resources to help you brush up on topics you may need help with, more than 500 practice problems that we listed, and 10 practice exams to help simulate the real deal as much as possible. I'm gonna be leaving links for all this stuff in the description below. If you have any suggestions or recommendations of your own for this exam, please leave a comment. We love hearing those. So thank you for watching this video. I hope it's been very helpful for you. Now, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe subscribe to the channel if you want to get more of what we share here to help you on your journey to pass your PE exam. Again, I'm Isaac Okuson with Civil Engineering Academy, helping you crush your professional civil engineering exams. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.